TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are so happy to come to us today. This is Tracing the Mantles program. You are always waiting for this program. It has always been a joy to come where you are, in your house, on the social media platforms, all of them, YouTube, Facebook, and whatever else is possible for you to get us. It's always a joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to come to us every Sunday evening and tonight we got a program for you by the help in the grace of God yes so I just of course always as usual want to ask you to call your friends tell them something amazing is about to happen in tracing the mantles program we've had the great joy and pleasure of the blessing of bringing very many people to you tonight we are bringing a jewel of grace, a mother in Israel, a mother in this nation. Yes, a woman who received the grace of God and continues to walk in the same many years ago. I believe with all my heart that this woman is the mother of women ministry in this nation. That is the kind of a grace that we want to bring to you tonight. As for me, I've looked forward and see what the Lord has done. He has allowed us to host this woman of God. I want to introduce to you right now, I know you are really wondering, so who is this? Yes, I want to introduce to us the Bishop Margaret Wangare. Karibu Mama. Asante. So nice to have you. Thank you. You can see I'm smiling from Mombasa to Kampala. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grace of God. Thank you. For me, God. I'm so blessed to have you mm -hmm. in this program. Yeah. And I believe that the Lord will do something tonight. I believe it too. The Lord will do something tonight. Yeah. I want you to look at that camera. I and will. I want you to greet the people and uh, say something about yourself and welcome them to the program. All right. I just want to greet all the viewers right where you are. And I want you to believe God together with me that something yeah. great is going to happen tonight. Mm -hmm. So be expectant as I am also expectant together with the woman of God. God bless you. Karibu sana. Yes, so I'm sitting down somewhere at the slopes of Mount Kenya. Yeah. I'm a young girl, maybe 18, <laughs> maybe 17. I think I'm looking after my... Uh, my grandfather's cows or something. Yeah. The radio is on. And there is this talk about a lady in Banana. I didn't know where Banana was. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I also read your book. Mm -hmm. And this is the statement I find. Yeah. The black Catherine Kuman. Mm -hmm. That's a woman we are having here tonight. Karibuni Sana. Thank Let's you, hear that journey now. Where does it start? My journey started when I was in primary school. Wow. I gave my life to the Lord when I was in class four. And I continued with the Lord. And uh, there was a time during Easter time. And uh, in Anglican church, because I was an Anglican, there was this concert and they were doing it about the crucifixion of Christ. And then it really triggered in my heart. And uh, I say, Lord, why did they kill you? <laughs> I mean, why, yes. why did they kill you? And then I say, Lord, I, I need an affirmation from you. <laughs> and uh, I went somewhere near the tree and I sat down. 
And then I was praying and I was meditating at the same time. And I said, Lord, I want to know why they did this to you. Of course, you can understand I was young. Uh, but by the grace of God, when I was seated, I started feeling the, the hair all over my face. And I started saying and doing, you know, removing them from my mouth and everywhere. And then I say, this is not what I ask. I needed to know why they did that. <laughs> At the same time, he started speaking to me. He said, I died because of you. Wow. And I died because of the church. Mm -hmm. I said, did you die because of me, only me? He said, not only you, I died for the church. Mm -hmm. I started crying. And then I told God, Father, I need you more than ever before. Amen. And within a very short time, something happened. Mm -hmm. The presence of the Lord was too much and I could not stop crying. Wow. It was too much for me. And then all of a sudden, I cannot tell you how he left. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I could not see him. I could not feel nothing. And then when he responded to me like that, I was contacted mm -hmm. and I attended the concert and I had that contentment in me. Mm -hmm. that that's why he died and he died for me. Mm -hmm. All right. That was first. Then the second one. It's always good to start with the humble beginning. Yes. Then I admired the Sunday school teachers. <laughs> yes. Yes. I admired them so much. And then I say one day, because I see these men are teaching us, uh, we didn't have the women, we had men. Mm -hmm. And said, I would like to become a Sunday school teacher. I, I think that was the highest for me. Yeah. And then I prayed and I just left it in the eyes of God. And I was a very good uh, uh, Sunday school member, attendance, and I, I used to receive so many gifts because I used to answer all questions. And one day, the angel of the Lord came to my room and he told me that you're going to be a Sunday school teacher. I said, me? My wow. father is not an elder. My mother is not an elder. <laughs> I don't have anybody who is going to speak on my behalf. Yes. Because you understand mm -hmm. in, uh, in uh, mainland churches, you need somebody to come and speak on your behalf. And the Lord told me, I am telling you that you are going to be a Sunday school teacher. Mm -hmm. So go and speak to the, the overall coordinator and the assistant and everything will be okay. I say, man, this, this starting is very hard for me. Mm -hmm. But I had to act. And when I started going, another angel came near our gate. And then we were walking together and he was talking to me and he told me, don't worry, I am with you. The Lord God is with you until we reach in the church. Reaching in the church, another angel was waiting for me again. Then I went and then I sat down. When I sat down, I saw another angel standing next to me. Jesus. I said, Lord, all oh, what is happening, I may not understand. And so I was there and the angel was reminding me, remember to see the national coordinator of the Sunday school. <laughs> I said, yes, I hear, I will do that. So after the service, he walked with me and I went to the coordinator and the assistant and I spoke to them. When I spoke to them, because I stayed like three weeks, they told me, Margaret, we want you to understand. Those three weeks you are talking about, God came and he spoke to us. Wow. wow. And so there was nothing to negotiate. So if people say that God cannot deal with people and speak to people in the Anglican churches, in the Methodist, God can do it. We need to embrace the brethren. Yes, yes. Wow, amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes, continue. And, and so the coordinator and the assistant, they say, God spoke to us those wow. three weeks you're talking about. Wow. I marveled. Wow. And then they said, there is nothing that we are going to negotiate about. Mm -hmm. Just go mm -hmm. to Ray Reader and he's going to give you the money mm -hmm. and you go for the, mm -hmm. for the studies. And they sent me to Kahuya. 
and I was there, they trained me, and uh, so God was there to speak on my behalf. So I want to bring to you that God does not only speak to the Pentecostals. Yes. He speaks also to the mainstream churches. Yes. He can use anybody. anything. He can use anybody. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And so I went and I was trained. And to make the whole story short, I came back and I started teaching the children. And my children today, most of them, they are reverend, pastors, bishops. Wow. And I'm so happy about them. Yeah. And I thank God. That is the first stage. Then the second stage, I went to high school, Giriambu High School. Giriambu Girls. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the prestigious Giriambu Girls. I know. Yes. So I went there. And when I went there from one, something happened to me. Mm -hmm. God started revealing himself to me. Mm. And there was one day I was lying on my bed. And then I saw a wind and it was a very bad wind. And that wind came and almost carried one house of the, of the teachers. Yes. And then I went to, I went to Mr. Njagi, who was studying with us as a dean in the Christian Union. And then I told Mr. Njagi, this is what I saw. He said, Margaret, you keep on seeing things and they're happening. I say, well, I don't want to see them, but they come to mm -hmm. me. And then I went, I lie down and God told me, just wait. Within two hours, that wind came and the iron sheet of that house was just like peppers. Wow. It was blown off. Yes. Wow. And the house was no more. Wow. Is this in the spirit or physically? I saw it in the spirit. Yeah. And it happened physically. Wow. Yes. Amazing. And then I was also shocked because I had never saw something of the kind. They told me that in Giriambu, you cannot start a Christian union. I asked them why, because the girls were not cooperating. I say in the name of the Lord, I'm going to start. And I spoke to the headmistress, uh, Madam Helen. And uh, I told her, and then she told me, Margaret, are you going to be? I say, yes, by the grace of God. Yeah. So we started the, the Christian Union. And I want you to mark this, mm -hmm. being an Anglican, talking about the infilling of the Holy Spirit, that is something that you cannot even dare speak. Mm -hmm. But when I was there, God had given me the gift of faith. Wow. And I used to pray for people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And they were all filled, but I was not filled. Do not ask me <laughs> why. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I prayed for them. Yeah. They were all filled and I tell them to speak in tongues, but I was not speaking in tongues. Wow. But one thing I know, I was an intercessor. Wow. Thank God for the intercessors in the world today. Yes. Because being an intercessor, God can make you to be somebody in the world. God works in mysterious ways. Yeah, he does. I think sometimes we box God. And you're just speaking to us, telling us, no, yeah. let God loose. Yes. Let him do what he needs yes. to do because he is God. Yeah. Even Miss Helen came and asked me, do you speak in tongues? I said, no, I'm an Anglican. <laughs> But how come that you are praying for people to be feared? I say, because I have read it. In the scripture. Yeah, in the scripture. Nobody had ever told me in my church. Wow. And so I needed to act. And I think many people are waiting to get to a certain age. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. God can use you in any age. Amen. And uh, Amen. I was a close friend of the reverend of the church near us, Anglican. And then I told him, I'm an Anglican, so I would like you to give me the key mm. so that I may be coming here for prayers. Mm -hmm. And so I was going there at 3, and I would leave there by 5.30. In the morning. In the morning. And then Jesus. I will go and take shower. Forgive us, And Lord. then prepare myself and go to the class. My prayer was for God to come and change the whole of Giriambu area the Gariyama area, mm -hmm. and I needed to see the change. 
in mm. a, in a school. Yes, Lord. And by the grace of God, so yes, many people Lord. God saved. They were filled with the Holy Spirit, and mm -hmm. others were receiving healing. They would tell me I was something was happening to my hand, but when you pray, the pain is no more. Okay, I was transferred from Giriambu to Karori High School. Karori High School is near my my village. And so when I went to Karori High School, that is where the Lord has started now dealing with me thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Because I could see Christ there standing. I used to have two notebooks or two journals. One is for the teacher and the other one is for the Lord. He will be telling me, Margaret, a time is coming. You'll be holding great meetings and crusades. And I, I could see myself in a very great, you know, crusade, very merciful crusade. And I will see that we are working together with the Christ. And I said, this is too much. And then he will tell me, can you note something? Can you write down? Now, the Lord is interrupting you. The teacher looks like. No. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. I will hear what the teacher is teaching. Yes. And I will hear what, what he, Christ is saying. Yes. And Wonderful I would Jesus. note down, oh yeah, that yeah. was God. Wonderful, Lord. But I can tell you that at the end of that day, I'll be so tired. Oh, Lord. I'll oh, be so Lord. tired. And then my mother was a very close friend of mine. I would go to my mother, and then I will share with my mother, this is what the Lord told me today. Why would you be tired? Because what the Lord God is telling me, mm -hmm. It is involving also my inner man yes, yes. and the outer man. Yes, yes. And what the teacher is also teaching yes. is involving the inner man yes. and the outer man. Mm -hmm. So I am doing kind of like double work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I did it without any complaint. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the Lord told me, a time is coming. Mm -hmm. You will be preaching. I said, me, mm -hmm. I, I, I used to be a singer. Even in Anglican church, I used to sing and I, I thought I'll be an artist. But the Lord told me that you'll be preaching. I say, me preaching? Mm -mm. But it happened. In the midst of that, a man of God from Neri came mm -hmm. and told me that there is a camp in Jero. Mm -hmm. And I feel that you need to go to that camp. I say, me? He said, yes. Uh, I meditated about it. <laughs> then I knew me as an Anglican, and I knew my mother and my dad, there is no way. They are going to allow. They, they are going to allow me to go. But I want to tell you, woman of God, that faith that God gave it to me, Something came and triggered in my heart and mm -hmm. told me, mm -hmm. yes, they will not allow you to go, but you will go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, mm -hmm. So I could not understand it. So I went and I told my mother, mom, there is a camp in Joro and I would like to attend it. Who are the organizers? I knew that would be the first question. Mm -hmm. And then I told my mother, the Pentecostals, and then he said, Margaret, you know, that is no. Yes. With capital letter. Yes. I say, yes, ma'am. Mm. And then I asked my mother, Mom, can you give me a work that I can work for you so that you can allow me to go to that camp? Mm -hmm. My mother is very intelligent. And she gave me that work. I worked for her three times. And then I went to my mother. I say, Mom, would you give me permission? No. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So the fourth time I went to my dad, I said, Now I have worked for mom because I want to go to the camp. But mom has said no. And my dad asked me, Margaret, do you have money? Of course, who could have given me money is my dad. So I said, Before I answer that, dad, let me tell you what the angel came and told me last night. And my mother came close. And I started saying, the angel came and told me that I would take about four to five buses. And the first bus I would take in Banana, the conductor would come and ask me, Margaret, 
he, he will ask me, are you Margaret? I will say yes. And then he will tell me, I know your case. Wow. Wow. So when I told my mother and my dad, they were kind of like reasoning, is, is she really normal or what is mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. to her? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I asked my dad, dad, can I go? And my dad did not talk to me. He just said he did this. They didn't know that I had already parked. I just went and I picked my hard luggage. <laughs> my mother did not talk again. Now God took charge. Mm. And then I look at my pocket, I had 35 cents. <laughs> and then I gave my mother 30 cents. I remained with five cents. Yeah. So that is to tell everybody who is listening. Yeah. My journey, I started with God. Yes. Not with money. Amen. Not with any greatness. Amen. But I started with nothing but faith. Mm. I went to the bus station and then I took the bus. And so the conductor came to me and asked, are you Margaret? I say, yes. The same thing. Yeah, the same thing the exactly. angel told me. Yes. Angels don't lie. No, 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 they don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't. Amen. Because they are being commissioned by the almighty oh, God. Mercy. Yes. And so I say, yes, I am. I know your case. Wow. Jesus. Have mercy. Yes. Yes, Lord. I say, thank you, Lord. And I started singing in the bus. Nobody knew why I was singing. Because how did they knew my case? It is only God who can tell. And I want to speak to somebody right now that you've been thinking that nobody know your case. You have so many heaps of cases. And the Lord God is here. Mm. As the Lord God knew my case, mm. I, I want to speak to your heart and mm -hmm. your spirit and to your inner man mm -hmm. that the Lord God will know your case tonight. Amen. Amen. Yes, and you he need to say amen wherever yes. you are. Amen. He will know your case. Yes. He will come and he will settle your case. Amen. In Jesus' mighty In name. In Jesus' mighty name. I took the second bus, the third, the fourth, the fifth. And all the conductors came. Are you Margaret? Yes, I am. I know your case. So all of them, they knew my case. Until I reached to Joro. When I went there, we started the camp. The camp was organized by the, the great man, Mulandi, mm -hmm. and many other men of God. And when we were there, a man of God, now he's a bishop, an Asaman player. Yes. He was preaching. And he was preaching a message which really heated me. And he said, when King Uzziah died, then Isaiah also saw the Lord. And then I was there crying and telling God, I want him to die. I want to see you, God. Mm -hmm. I was so thirsty and I was so expectant. Mm -hmm. And the man of God says, some of you, you will go back. You'll be generous. You'll be... He was using the, the terminologies of the militaries. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to be left in Ancano. You are going to be what? In the Lord. Oh, in the Lord. Mm. And then I said, I want to be higher than that. <laughs> That's me. You know, I want to be higher than what Amen. the man of God is saying. Amen. Amen. And then I was just listening to myself. Margaret, what are you saying? And then I repeated again. And I want to be higher than what the man of God is saying. I said, okay. And he called people who had tonsils and few other things that I knew that I had those problems. And I was thinking that I was the only one. Mm -hmm. I went there and I saw other people coming. And then I said, it's okay, but I know it's me. Mm -hmm. So he prayed. He never laid hands on us. Wow. He prayed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then I just felt the peace of God. And uh, the tonsils were no more. And I, then I felt the love of God all over me. Then we went back. He called for the other, another altar call. He said, them, the, them those who want to be the captain, the sergeant, the lieutenant colonels, I said, I want to be higher than that. 
come light here. Then I went. I said, Lord, you know, I need that. And there is something I want to mention. Mm -hmm. True. Not many times I mentioned this. Uh, we, Kikuyus, and the Luas, mm -hmm. I grew up hearing so many differences between us and the Luas. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in Giriambo High School, mm -hmm. and when I was in primary school, I told my mother, I want to become a nurse or a doctor. My dream was to become a doctor. He asked me, why do you want to become a doctor? Because I want to treat the Nuos, I want to treat the Nuyas, I want to treat the Kikuyu, the Kambas, every person, every person in Kenya. And I don't want to have any discrimination. Wow. And my mother was just looking at me, you young girl, what do you know? I say, mama, I want to become a doctor. And the Luos and the Kikuyus, I'll be treating them equally. The same. The same. Yeah. That was, that was, what is that? What is Woman that? Woman of God. That was the spirit of that God. That is the spirit of God. Yes. I can tell that. And then, wherever I go, I told them I needed to become a doctor. Yes. But I came the doctor of Jesus Christ that you. I don't inject. <laughs> I just pray. Yes. And when I pray, the Lord will come. You are a doctor in the kingdom. <laughs> yes. Yes. With kingdom and medicine. The healing balm of Gilead. That is, that is the thing. Amen. So, we are now in Joro camp. He called another altar call. So I went. A second one. Yes. You are in a second altar call right yes. now. Yes. You are really going for this altar call. Oh, yes. <laughs> Morandi can tell you that. Yes. I never missed not even one. Wow. No. And so when I went, I was waiting to see something. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, when he started praying, I was slain. Wow. And so mm -hmm. many people fell on me. Wow. But I can assure you, I never felt any weight. Of the people that of fell on you. Of the people who fell on me. Amazing. And I Amazing. was on the ground. Yes. That time, I saw my grandmother, who was a crippled over 27 years. She could not wa walk because he, she had a problem of the spinal so cord. So you are on the floor. Yes. All of a sudden, you start being caught up in a vision. Yes. That's what we are talking about. Yes. yes. The vision. Yes. yes. I saw a vision. And then I saw another man called Waiya. <laughs> he had a mental problem. He was mad. Yes. Mm. And so I saw myself laying hands on my grandma. I prayed for her and then I saw her walking in the vision. I saw myself laying hands on Waiya and he became normal. Jesus. And then all of a sudden I saw so many different types of colors of people and the Lord God told me they are healed they are healed. Mm. I want to tell everybody, Amen. today it is not a vision, mm -hmm. it is a reality. Amen. Amen. Okay. After the prayer, the man of God started asking, who is that person that God has visited? Being an Anglican, we're being told you don't need to share things just like that. Yeah. Go to the elder or your reverend. And then I say, you're not my pastor. <laughs> So <laughs> I can't come to you. Yeah. Yes. And so he kept on asking, but I did not say anything. Oh dear. My goodness. After that, another man came who was also among the coordinators. He said, I know there are so many students who are here and you have not paid your registration. I say, Oops. God, you never told me about the registration. <laughs> The Apostolic Clinic. Be very careful at what altar you eat. If you go to those meetings, don't take sides. 
Does that show the breadth on issues affecting the body of Christ? Is our African culture, was it all demonic? On matters leadership, discuss it with their leadership. If they are mature leadership, they will pray about it. Doctrine, a practice requires you touch on blood. We know then you are touching on matters of our faith. Finances, we should never tie from a point of legalistic uh, pressure. And on emerging issues in the society, you must be committed to your marriage and you must be willing to fight until your marriage is stable. By giving spiritual diagnosis through the word of God, before you apply scripture, you must understand the context in which it was written and to who it was written to. Hosted by Pastor D. Mongi every Monday 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Exclusively on Elevate TV. Welcome back. Wow, amazing. I'm sure you're still there. I'm sure you are, you are, you are eager. You're eager to know where this is going. Yes, if you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Let's keep going. He taught me about fasting. And then I said, today I'm going to fast. I went to the field mm. and I was singing and praying when others were enjoying their lunch, their tea and everything. And the same coordinator came where I was. He asked me, are you migrate? I say, yes, I am migrate. Somebody is looking for you in the office. I say, no, I am a stranger here. Nobody knows me here. He said, somebody is looking for you. Then the spirit of the Lord, I, I, you know, communicated with me and told me, don't argue with him, follow him. I followed him. So we went to the office. Reaching there, there was nobody. I asked him, where is the man? He said, sit down, I will explain to you. A man came here and told me that you're in the field and you are praying. He gave me your name and he gave me this money for your registration and you are now registered and everything is paid for. I say, oh. That was an angel. <laughs> he said, I, I think, yeah, that was an angel because he disappeared. This is the way it's supposed to be. Yes, even today. Or to everyone. Yes, to everyone. Works with God. Yes. My God. Yes. Keep going. So I went back to the other people and then I enjoyed the whole camp. And when everything was over, I said, this time I will not go with the bus. So many students were going with the train. I said I will go with the train, but I want to be the last. Yes. To enter. Yes. <laughs> because I don't want anybody else to hear my case. Yes. Oh, yeah. And so everybody entered. And then the moment I entered, he said, are you Margaret? I said, yes. There it goes again. I know your case. So I went and I sat down Jesus, up to Nairobi. We love you, Lord. And from Nairobi to my home, the Lord God knew my case. And he has always known your case. Oh my goodness, I can tell you so many miracles. Even now he knows you are here. Oh my, my God, yeah, he knows my case. <laughs> he knows your case. Yes. <laughs> Amen. And so when I went home, I stayed like two days. And uh, there is something that Manasseh, when he called us, he said, if you have a handkerchief or sweater, anything This is Manasseh's man yeah, Mankuleo. Yes. Then I went, I said, God, I have so many. I was counting every person in my village who is sick. Yeah. Uh -oh. Anybody who is having uh -oh. any problem. Uh -oh. I had a, a big heart. Uh -uh. I counted them and I said, Lord, I don't have this. I have a sweater. I have the hand scarf and I have the handkerchief and my Bible. He told me, you know what? Carry your handkerchief and the Bible. The Bible is going to represent everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went. So he prayed. I carried my handkerchief mm. and so after mm. two days I told my mother I want to go to our garden and uh, he said yeah so we went with uh, our third born called Salome we went both of us and I can assure you when I was going it's kind of like there was another extraordinary power 
which was kind of like I was not walking in the world. It is kind of like flying or walking in the air. Floating. Yes. Mm. I reached my grandma. After reaching there, I told my grandma, Grandma, would you want to be healed? He said, yes, I want to be healed. Oh, yeah. Mm. I want to pray for you. Grandma said, you know so many people that have prayed for me. He started with the Aquarinos, and uh, I'm, I'm still sick. I said, I, I don't care about yes. the Aquarinos and the people who have prayed for the you. The gift of faith yes. wakes up. Yes. Yes. But I have come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am going to pray for you, Grandma, and you are going to walk. And then the grandpa told me, can you go first to the garden and then you come? I said, Grandpa, and you know, actually, according to our culture, you are not supposed to, to reply and to reply. respond. Yes, yes, to yes. the grandpa. Yeah. I said, Grandpa, you know, I'm not going to the garden first. I am going to pray for my grandma first. And God is going to perform a miracle. And grandma, grandpa looked unto me and said, Okay, yes. pray for her. Yeah. So I took my handkerchief and lay on her head. I prayed for my grandma. Precisely what I saw in the vision. My grandma started walking. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Less than 30 minutes. I don't know where people came from. Yes. And when they were coming, they said, mm. when you prayed, we, we felt like earthquake. Jesus Christ. And they were coming where the earthquake was coming Jesus from. Jesus Christ. And so, I did not talk so much. And so many sick people started coming. I continued praying for them. That whole day, from morning till evening, I was praying for people. They got healed. They got healed. And because I was in Karori High School, I decided to go to the principal and ask him. You are still in high school? Of course. Oh my God. Yes. You are a little girl. Yes. Oh my Jesus. So I went to the principal asking him to give me the field of Karori High School. He said, okay, I have given it to you. So every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we used to have the crusade there. And then Monday you're in class. I'm in class, my Lord. And uh, when my grandma was healed, it was something which really shook every, you know, every person and the churches around because they knew her. Uh, me, I was still, I'm a quiet woman when I'm not on the dial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am yes. a quiet woman. Yeah. And even though whatever happened, you will not hear me talk much. People will talk and others would like to receive the glory. And then they will say, not you, it's Margaret. I won't say nothing because I knew there is something that the Lord God told me. You cannot share my glory. Jesus. And so I knew it. Whatever is happening, this is not me. I slept one day, woman of God, Margaret Wangari, who was not known. And the following day after the grandma was healed, Margaret was known. The newspaper, they started writing Margaret Wangari, the healer. Yes, that's what we were hearing. Yes. Yes. And so when they came to me, I told them, don't write Margaret Wangari, the healer. Jesus Christ is the healer. They say, yes, we are going to write that. But the following day, Margaret Wangari, the healer, she's from Banana Hills. And may God have mercy on our territory Amen. and on our nation. Amen. And learning from the examples that we have, let us ask the Lord to make us again. Yes. To mold us again. The name of so Jesus. So that He can have a highway Thank you, to God. move and yeah. reveal Himself. Yes. Like He revealed Himself during your. You are, you, are, you, are, you are young child, yeah. Jesus Christ. I can't recover from that. So now we started uh, the Karori Crusade in Karori High School. And people are coming from all over the world. All over, all the, over world. the world. 
And I can assure you that the, the Asians, there were so many from India. Well, are they the Asians from Kenya? No, they were the Asians from, from India. India. And when the Asians from India came, they motivated the Indian here. And so they started all coming. And I give God all the praise because most Asians or most Indian, they got healed. They left their braces there, their wheelchair there, <laughs> you know, and uh, the dumb spoke, the, the deaf heard, and uh, others, they had uh, skin diseases, they were totally healed. But the amazing part of it, because so many people, they do ask me, have you ever seen a miracle happening? And I would say, no. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Because I always close my eyes and I pray. And in the middle of my prayer, then I will start hearing people shouting and saying that one is healed, the other one is healed. And I, I can assure you that banana was no longer the same. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. people are coming from, all, when I say all over, they came from Scandinavia, they came from Europe, mm. they came from America, everywhere. Mm. Mm. And uh, some of them, amazingly, and I know you'd like to hear this, mm -hmm. I'm in the class and the teacher is teaching and the guests will come from Europe. And they say, we want to see this healer. We want to see this girl. <laughs> and then the teacher will tell me, just go and speak with them. So the head teacher will give me his office. I will go there, interview me. They will do everything. And then they will ask me so many questions. And then I would answer. And then I'll go back to the class. Jesus Christ. But let me tell you that if God, and I don't want to use if, when God has decided to use you, Amen. He does not count the ears. Amen. He does not count even the experience. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Because I did not have any experience. Mm. I, didn't mm -hmm. I did not have anybody who was behind me mm -mm. to teach or to tell me anything. Mm -mm. So, but I heard Him. And the way I was and my understanding, I believe that's why he used to use the angels so that I may understand that he is together with me. Mm -hmm. And in Karuri, God performed a mir miracle, so many miracles. And I shared with the woman of God when we were seated there, mm -hmm. there was a place called Kenyoni in uh, Banana, that mm -hmm. is in Karuri High School. And it was a big hall where the young men, they used to go and smoke and do other things. Mm -hmm. But when the Lord started healing the people, all the crutches, we put them there, the wheelchairs, the braces, you know, we put them there. Mm -hmm. Until today, when you look at it, it's like a hill. Because the, the crutches and the all crutches, those things yes. were buried there. Yes, and on top of that, everywhere I used to go, I, I donated so many in Kenyatta National Hospital. I donated so many in Kiambu, in Nyeri, everywhere I used to hold the crusader. I used to give them. To the hospitals. To the hospitals. Yeah. And so I, I, I saw God because God was not healing one. No. He was healing them simultaneously. Glory. You know, instantly. Glory to and God. And all of them, they will start shouting. Others yes. will say, I could not see, but now I can see. Amen. I could not hear, but now I can Praise hear. The Lord. I could not talk, now I can, I can talk. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that, that God of 70s, mm -hmm. he's the same God of 80s. Amen. The same God of 90s. Amen. The same God of 2000. Amen. And if you believe in him, mm. you are going to see the greatness of God. Amen. He has not changed. Amen. I, I told my church last week, part one. God has not traveled anywhere. Mm -hmm. The same power he gave it to me. Mm -hmm. I still have it. Amen. True. I have it. Yes. And anybody who will need a miracle, mm -hmm. it's only believing in mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And when I you believe in him, mm -hmm. that miracle 
will happen. Amen. The miracles which happened in Banana, in Karori, they opened doors for me. Mm -hmm. And then from Banana, I went to Thika. That is where God healed a, a nephew of Mamangina, mm. who was crippled. I think he had an accident. There was no hope for him. Mm -hmm. And in Thika, so many of them got healed mm -hmm. until we could not control them. Nobody could contain them. Thank you, Jesus. No one. And uh, that Thank one, you. he went to Mama Gena in uh, Gatundu. And then when His Excellency, our first president, when he saw him, he said, is it a ghost? He said, no, it's not a ghost, <laughs> it's me. Yes. And then he said, what happened? Mm -hmm. This young girl from Banana came and mm -hmm. prayed for us. Yes. We got healed, so many of us. And I decided to come and share it with you that God did it unto me. Yes. And from there, I went to Nyeri. I went all over Kenya. I went to Kisumu. Praise God. Amen. When I saw that I was Amen. in Kisumu, Amen. I said, God, you have answered my, my prayer. prayer. Yes. And he healed so many. And I give God all the praise. Let me encourage you and tell you that that God of 70, he is the God of today. Amen. I saw him when I was Amen. in state, healing even the crippled people walking, mm. healing mm. the cancer. Yes, Lord. So don't, don't, do not be cheated by anybody that the power is no longer there. The power is there. If you need it, the Lord God, he is going to do it and i am here and when the time comes i will pray for you and if you need it then you will touch your screen mm -hmm. and then the lord god is going to give it unto you come amen. on now amen he amen. is going to do that and you I are believe. going to receive it amen in jesus name amen wow Hallelujah. glory to god amen. oh yes it's going to happen yes it's going to happen it is right going to here. happen yes because it's the same yesterday today, today and forever. forever yes and the gifts of god are without repentance that's true if he gives it to you he give he gave it to you yeah and he gave it to you to become a well yeah in this nation that yeah. many may drink from that's it that's right and find christ and i believe that description by the lord that definition that call for this nation through his servants yeah. has not it's not yet no it's still there no, it is still Please there say, two minutes say something about that <laughs> i i just want to say uh, why the lord god wherever i was going that great and mighty things were happening and kibarabara had the right to say that because there was a time he came to banana and i never knew that he was there but i spoke to his heart he said it. Yeah. He said it. I spoke to his heart. Yeah. And he had the money in his pocket. He gave that testimony. And that money was needed somewhere. In the ministry. And so, yeah. And yeah. so he knew it. And he gave it to the Lord. And so the Lord God was leaving a mark to every person to understand this is not about a small girl. Mm -mm. This is about God. Amen. And it is not about the Kikuyus. It's not about the banana. Mm -mm. It is about the nation of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And not only the nation of Kenya, the worldwide. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, the whole world. Mm -hmm. Because God made them to come to banana. And they were coming because of what they saw and what they heard that the Lord God was doing. And I want to encourage you that what God did in those days, in 70s and 80s and 90s, it is still in my heart. Yes. And I believe God because I have seen God doing great things, you know. And what I saw in 70s and 80s, I want to encourage you that I saw it in uh, two years ago in America. And that is to tell you that the same God who was there, he's proving to me that, Margaret, I did it, and I can also do it. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen, Lord. Then after that, in 80s, late 80s, the Lord opened the door for me to go to Central Africa, that is in Congo. 
and God started performing the same miracles that I saw in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And God did it in a place called Bukavu mm -hmm. in Kivu district. Mm -hmm. And God moved in a very tremendous way. He also paved me and I went again to South Africa. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. God was doing it to make everybody understand. Mm -hmm. It is him who is doing it mm -hmm. for the glory and mm -hmm. honor mm -hmm of his name amen and he can do it again he can yes. do it to the young girls yes he Lord. can do it to anybody who is willing to be use of god because in the calling of god woman of god mm -hmm. you need to have a heart of willingness mm -hmm. you're willing to be used of god mm -hmm. and the faith that you have you know it is not yours it is god mm -hmm. it's a gift from god mm -hmm. and so you you try it anytime the Lord God want that to be. What do I mean? Mm -hmm. Let me give this testimony briefly. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and then I received a call from Seattle. One of my elder was there, and she was not feeling well. And then they called me, I just came from the dial, and then I say, give me like 20, 30 minutes. I go and change, and then I can speak to you. Mm -hmm. Then they told me my mother was diagnosed with cancer. I said, no. Mm -hmm. You know, you said creative miracles. Creative miracles. And they did a scan, and they say that the, the, the cancer has grown, it has come to the nose. It's where the growth, and the, they talk so many weird things. I said, this is the highest wickedness, and Lord God, I'm not going to stand this. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I refer this cancer mm -hmm. back to hell. Mm. Sicknesses, and they don't, they don't come from you, God. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. I prayed with their yes, children, Lord. and I prayed with their mother, and today, they did all the scan after the prayer, and they say that she is cancer free. Amen. Amen. Cancer Amen. free. Thank you, Lord. I am talking about last year. Yes. Cancer free. Amen. And in that America, I can assure you, there are more than 10 people who had cancer mm -hmm. within two, three years. Now they are cancer free. Amen. And Amen. the doctors are asking, what is happening? Mm -hmm. They asked my elder, are you a believer? He said, yes, and it is my bishop who prayed for me. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that this gift, when the Lord God will come and give it to you, it mm -hmm. is not yours. Yes, yes. No, the yes. anointing, when God gives you the anointing, is not your own anointing. Mm -mm. God has anointed you and me mm. so that I mm. can share this anointing to other people. Mm. So that they can also be partakers if they are willing to partake. Mm -hmm. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. And I am trusting God that God is able, he can do it, and he is more than willing to do it. Jesus Christ does not need human intervention no. in making himself known. Yes, that is true. That is true. Bless his holy name. Yes, that I is think so true. Because I'm seeing that you, you, you were young, so you didn't know anything to do with advertising, crusades, nothing. What was Jesus advertised himself. And by the way, His Excellency, our first president. Yes. He knew that the meeting was out of control. Ah. He said so many policemen. Uh -uh. Yes. Yes. To bring the order. <laughs> Every meeting he used to send them. Amen. Tell me, tell me about that. And you didn't ask. I did not ask, Jehovah. I did not ask. Yes. It's Jesus. Taking care of his affairs. Yes. Bless his holy name. Amen. It's a funny story I read uh -huh. from the, your book. Okay. That one day you went to the first president's home. Uh -huh. And he, I don't know if he's the one who asked for prayer. Or you, you said you were going to pray or whatever it was. and uh, But he told you to not to pray like Joe Kyle. <laughs> like Apostle Joe Kyle. Yes. And speak, I think, in those languages yeah, yeah. that he speaks with. And uh, maybe say it from your own mouth because I'm reporting. It was okay. very funny at the point where the first president says, anybody named after you, the, who's, I think it's mother. 
Go down on your knees. Yes. Yes. Wow. Two minutes. Okay. God enabled me mm -hmm. and I was called by His Excellency. And then I went. And uh, when I went, his brother was a very close friend of our family, mm -hmm. Moigai, mm -hmm. the late Moigai. Mm -hmm. And so through Moigai, I was very close to the first president. Yeah. So I, uh, I went to his home in Gatundu and he started, he asked me so many questions. Yeah. And I answered <laughs> them all. Amen. I can tell you there were so many. Yes. And I answered them all. Mm -hmm. And then he said, he looked at his brother and said, what is happening with her? Because in those days, nobody could look unto him eyeball to ah. eyeball. <laughs> and I myself, when we were talking, I'm looking unto him yes. eyeball to eyeball. Yes. And then he Because asked, of the yes. authority of the uh -huh. Holy Ghost. And then the, the brother, he asked the brother, what is happening with her? He said, there are two kingdoms. And at the end of the race, we will know which kingdom is greater than the other one. Then His Excellency, we talked privately, and then he needed prayers. And then I wow. said, Lord, Every I need wisdom. Every man wisdom. needs prayers. Yes. There is nobody that doesn't no. need prayer. Yeah. Hey. And so I didn't know how to address him, but I asked the Spirit of God to guide <laughs> me. And then he told me, he gave me orders, when you pray, I want you to pray like the bishops. That time I was not a bishop. And I don't want you to pray la 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 like Joe Kyle. <laughs> okay. I say, okay. I told him it is not la 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 la. Those are tongues. tongues. It is written in the Bible. And uh, if God would want me to speak as I pray for you, I would. If he doesn't, I will not, and I will, I'm not going to force myself. He repeated again, I don't want those da, 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 like Joe Kyle. I kept quiet. I did not argue with him. But the Lord told me, tell him to kneel down with Mama Gena. I told him, His Excellency, please, I want you to come and you kneel down. You down. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Divine authority. Oh, yes. Mm. And then he was just looking at me. He didn't know what to say. I said the first time, the second and the third. Thank God for Mamangina. She, she went stood down. and then she knelt down. And he said, yes. 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 So <laughs> then Jomo Kenyatta looked unto me. He said, <clears throat> yes. Anybody who is born by my mother or boy, I want everybody to kneel down. <laughs> so God made the campaign for me. Everybody yes. knelt yeah. down. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he also knelt down. We give God all the praise. Amen. Amen. And then I started praying, and those tongues that he had told me not to speak, they came. They came. And I started speaking in tongues, and I lay hands on him. I hear from his brother, he did open his eyes the first time he looked unto me, the second, but the third time he closed the eyes and he listened the prayers until the end. And the answer is, God met all his needs. Praise And we give God all the praise. Yes. Let me tell you something yes. before I finalize it. Yes, yes. It is always good to know who you are. Mm. And when you know who you are and the calling that God has called you mm. for, mm. nobody mm. will ever dare intimidate you Amen. or provoke you. Mm -hmm. And even though they dare provoke you, then you will stand with your God mm -hmm. and you will tell that this is my God mm -hmm. and this is what God can do. Mm -hmm. A young girl, the way I was, I could not have told His Excellency to come and kneel down mm -hmm. but with the power of the most high god mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. Glory. He was subject to that. Amen. And so as I am speaking to you, even you, there is nothing which is too difficult for you. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead. You can do it Amen, in Lord. the name of Jesus Amen, Christ. Jesus the way God gave me that courage and that authority, yes. he can give it to you. Amen, and Father. he is releasing it Bless unto you, you in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. You receive it yes. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Mm, yes. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let them receive it, God. Yes, Father. Let them receive it, God. Yes, in the name Father. of Jesus, you yes, did it, God. You yes, can do it even today, God. Yes, you can do it, oh God, in the name of yes, Jesus. Father. We are releasing yes. that power. Yes, Father. yes, my Father, all the viewers, wherever they are, yes, let them receive it, oh God, in the name of Jesus the Christ of, of Jesus Nazareth. Christ. And I know this is the time, this is the yes, hour Father. that you have made, oh God. Let them receive Father. it, yes. oh God. And let them run with that anointing, oh God, mm. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I say amen. And wherever you are, you say amen. Amen. And you receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe something has been said that will settle in your heart yes. forever and bear fruit 30 fold, 60 fold, and 100 fold. God bless you. Good night. I'm Asunta Juma, your host for Tracing the Mantles. Shalom.